I'm here with the amazing Katrina Balfe and Sam Hewen for Outlander, and we are gearing up for season two. What was the most surprising thing that you guys learned when filming season two? It feels more complex in a way, doesn't mm -hmm. it? It feels more these relationships have developed and our relationship has certainly gone into a new place. When we last saw our couple, you know, Jamie had just gotten out of a very traumatic experience with Blackjack. How are we going to see them moving forward? Claire's focus is is to really sort of help him get over that trauma and, and by in trying to inspire him and give him this mission of trying to change history and, and Claire's very much his champion in, in a sense. They have this wonderful new life that they're about to give birth to and also the fact that they're in France for a reason which is this mission they're on to, to stop the Jacobites. We are heading to France in season two, getting away from Scotland, getting away from all of those enemies that the two of them have created. Is it going to be smooth sailing in Paris? I don't think it's ever going to be smooth sailing with these two. We're going to meet some very interesting characters who may become the new enemies of Claire and, and Jamie, one being the, the Comte Saint-Germain. It doesn't take long before Claire <laughs> um, gets them all in trouble. Yes. In season one, you wore a lot of wool gowns, you wore a lot of heavy things. Are we going to get to see you in some lighter dresses this year? Yeah, I think visually this year it is a lot of color, a lot of like sumptuous silks and satins and we will even see Sam in some beautiful satins and embroidery. Beautiful and dresses, yes. Beautiful dresses. <laughs> well, how do they fit into the Parisian culture? They scrub up pretty well, yeah. I yeah. think. It, it is an alien world to them. They kind of do quite well, don't they? I mean, mm -hmm. they fit in pretty quickly. And when they come back to, to their private lodgings, they discuss, you know, what's been happening. And it's interesting to see how they both quickly adapt and learn to deceive other people. It's this massive undertaking that they've set out to do. And it's not always pretty. They feel like they're working for the greater good. What is the one thing that you want Outlander fans to know before they tune into season two? Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's going to be a very different journey and yeah. uh, very surprising. It's an exciting, very different, um, very different sort of first half of the season, but yet, hopefully, you know, we still have that central.